We're here at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising Museum to see a retrospective on an entire century of movie costuming. The exhibit was a big draw, and nobody showed up naked. These are obviously people who love clothes. You notice the costumes in, in a movie? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, when you don't know they're there, they're naked. <laughs> it makes the movie, pretty much. That's a different genre of film. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever wear this, like, down the street? Definitely not. I'd probably wear that just every day if I could. Really? Yes, I well, what's really stopping would. You? What's stopping me, guys? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I wouldn't wear it to school at all. It looks a little heavy, but now maybe for a club. <laughs> of course, you know, with that body armor, you could take a hit. You know, I probably could. <laughs> You'd be pretty good in, in that Carmen Miranda number right there. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, I'd like some bananas on my head, too. Security, you might keep your eye <laughs> on her. Bananas on the head, just make sure that, you know, you stay in a refrigerated area. Definitely. These women were certainly enjoying the clothes on display. We caught up with the FIDM Museum Collection curator, Louise Coffey Webb, who walked us through some of the exhibit's highlights. Now, this is, Louise, the, the Phantom Menace display. And what's unique about this uh, costuming? It's the last vestige of truly creative designing because the designers have a totally uh, carte blanche and have to create things from scratch. That is something I cannot do. There are little symbols, like on her earmuffs. Yeah, I noticed that. And, and, uh, and that actually is the symbol for the artist formerly known as Prince, or... <laughs> well, Princess. <laughs> or Princess, as the case may be. Yeah. Yes. What's happening? There was one down here you were going to yes. show me, too. When students are here, they're, they're sketching these things, and they're, they're trying to get them down on paper. What does that help them with when they, when they see it and sketch it and, and observe it? There's nothing that compares to actually seeing how the light falls on the folded areas and how the raised embroidery creates a shadow, things like that. They, it really helps them to learn how to draw effectively. Museum protocols are torture when the displays have such inviting textures, like Anthony Hopkins' leather cape from Titus. You just so badly want to reach out and touch everything because, like you said, this nice soft leather, and yet it says... Please do not touch. Please do not touch. <laughs> it's torture. <laughs> and you were also saying you're at the mercy of, of what gets sent to you by the studio. So this is a, an example of that. Too. Yes, they did not send us the, the pants, so we had to make do with a, with a pole. For Louise, the Hollywood 2000 costume retrospective is an easy sell. All people have their favorite movies, and I would think quite a few of them are represented in this stellar collection. So, who makes all this stuff? Well, in just about any big Hollywood film, the wardrobes and costuming are created by members of the Costume Designers Guild. We chatted with CDG board member Mary Rose, who walked us through the designer's process once she gets a script. You go see director. Then you hope that what you have in your mind and what he has in mind matches. If you have time, it doesn't. Or the, uh, even a budget. And then that's the part that doesn't match at all most of the time. Mary says many costume designers are disappointed with the Oscars' perennial bias toward period costume. Contemporary film could be very good in costumes, but because it's so good, and it's today, no, no one notices how perfect it is. And if it is, no one thinks in a term that there was designer who designed this look, because it's so natural. Mary is always willing to advise young people, but only if they're passionate about the art of costume design. But if they just want to be around the movie making, then I said, just go see movie and <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> of course, most movie clothing isn't available for public view.